You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to check out a kitchen playset for you. Now, I've had requests to show some of my kitchen playsets. Now, this set actually was going to be used in the mini cooking channel, the Lucky Mini Food. But before I introduce it over there, I really want all the Lucky Penny Shop fans to see it here first because it is a pretty cool set. I've never had it out of the box. They say it's for ages three and up and it is Sunbeam branded. The mixer and the blender both work by pressing buttons so you don't need batteries. Let's just take a look at the sides. I like to show everything on the box just because I don't know, one day in five years I might be looking at the video saying, hmm, how come I didn't show the whole box? So there you go. I don't see a specific year just yet. Let's see. All right, so also in this set, I'm just noticing now, is this toaster, which I do not have. There is another set that has a toaster with it, but I do have the blender. You can fill it two-thirds full, add your favorite mix, replace lid, start blending action by pumping power level. Do not attempt to grind solid food. Good call. Hand mixer, okay. All right, so I will need to carefully get this out of the box. Now the box already is partially open, so when I come back, what I'll try to do is so I can take it out piece by piece, and then uh, we'll just look at it and I'll play with it. All right, so here we go. I was able to get that plastic insert out and nothing has been washed, so I'll probably have to give it all a quick rinse once I get it out and check it out. There is a cup, another matching cup, and this is pretty much the size and scale for my Lucky Mini Food. So I think those would actually work pretty good. A little bit bigger, but still work. There's a napkin holder, which I might use over there. A couple little dessert cups, which I will definitely use. I could have used those on another project. There is a serving spoon. A couple regular spoons, okay. And then some straws. It's all part of the play. What looks to be like a cookie cutter in the shape of a, what is that, a lamb or a sheep? And then a bowl with no lid, but it's a nice size. And then a measuring cup. And then another little bowl, rectangular. And then here is the mixer. Now watch this. So I could use that. I'm gonna mix something for you in the bowl. I don't know, maybe just get something to play with. And then here is this. So this is going to actually need to come out before I put food in there. But I will save that and get that back in there. Okay, and then here is this. Check it out. So I guess you just... Maybe I'll do some colored water in there or something so we can see it. And this little smiley face I've seen on other Chilton products. All right, so let me do a little rinsing of some pieces here, and then I will come back with, uh, I don't know, some kind of stuff to mix and play with, and then we'll, you know, see how it all works. All right, so everything's been rinsed and dried. Now, I, did, well, I do want to do a couple things. Now, I want to see how this works. I am just going to actually, I got some lemonade mix. I don't know why I thought it was something different, something to test out. So let me put some water in here. Okay, and then here's some lemonade. Let me just scale out like a third of an ounce. Okay, and then I will mix it with this and see how it goes. Of course, not what you normally use a blender for, but I do want to see how it blends. And it actually works pretty good. So this would work really well in my mini kitchen. The scale's a little bit bigger than I would normally use, but it's still an option. Okay, let's move that to a cup now. Here we go. We're going to pour the lemonade. Hopefully it goes in the cup here. I'll start it down here so if it spills a lot. Ooh, not bad at all. Okay, so that worked out good. All right, and then the next thing I want to test out is the mini blender. I thought this one I would t test out with some food coloring and some water just to see. Now this doesn't necessarily lock in, it looks like. And then this little pin 
is what's spinning around that little area there. Interesting. Interesting design, I must say. Let's see. Okay, works pretty good. Let's get some liquid in here. And then a little color. How about we do blue? It's just a little food coloring. A couple drops, then we'll see how this little vortex works. Here we go. This should give us a good idea how this works. Ooh, don't forget the lid. Ooh, it's, it's not wanting to... Oh, I put too much pressure on it. Okay, so it's working. I pushed, pushed down too hard. I see a little vortex in there. Don't you? So that's bloodening pretty good. Let's put another color in. Let's see if you can... If it makes a difference. So don't push down too hard. That little click which must mean it's going too far past the point. Now there is quite a bit of liquid in there. Let me see if I take some of this liquid out. If it's easier or harder, let's see. It's kind of how I test these things out. It's actually easier, see that? Let me give you a top-down view. So you can watch it. Actually, let me see. Do I have enough water here? I have a little bit. Let me dump this water out. Give this a quick wipe down. Okay, put the rest of my water in. And then now we can see it all over again. Let's grab a different color though. What do I have here? Green. Oh, I already made green, didn't I? Oh, I think I'm set. I think that's it. I think I have this color. I don't know what this is. It's hard to tell. It's a yellow top, but I think it's blue. Or purple. Oh, it's blue. Okay, we've already done blue, but oh well. Here we go. Inside the little vortex. That works pretty good, I would say. Look at that. So between that and the blender, I mean the hand mixer, I definitely would be able to use it. So now, if you do see any of this from this set, you'll know exactly where it's from. Maybe I'll use the plates in the next mini food video. How does that sound? Would you like to see them in that video? All right, so that is the Chilton's Sunbeam set with the blender and hand mixer. I'd say overall a pretty cool set. Definitely vintage. And at some point it will show up in the mini food channel. If you don't know what I'm talking about in the mini food channel, then I'll leave a link in the description area there. You can go check it out. I actually cook in a mini kitchen using all kinds of mini toys like this. And I prepare real food. And I'll send you out with my blender. Just don't push down too hard. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Now I do have more sets like this. Let me know if you want to see them. Later! Ooh, when you put no pressure at all. Look at that. I'm just afraid it's going to fall off if I don't hold it a little. Oh, sorry. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.